Pat Farwell with St. Francis head football coach Chris Valerio. His team fans opens the Northeast Conference portion of the 22 schedule on Saturday on Staten Island. It's a game against the Seahawks. It's a 4 p.m. kick on September 17th, and that game can be viewed on NEC Front Row. Last weekend, the Flash traveled to the Commonwealth of Virginia. It came up on the short end of a 10-point decision, 31-21 loss at Richmond. It was a hard-fought, hard-hitting game with the Spiders. And Chris, your thoughts on the performance. Uh, it, it was really an intense battle out there, and we didn't give an inch. Yeah, I was really proud of our team, the effort they gave. They gave great effort all night. Um, I, I thought we arose to the occasion when we needed to. Uh, that big stop on the, in the fourth quarter, that fourth and short, uh, you know, defense came up, and I thought, you know, we, we had it. We gave us an opportunity to, to go tie that game up, but uh, you know, it didn't work our way. That effort, you know, we're going we can win a lot of games if we give that kind of consistent effort week in and week out. And there was a number of strong individual performances I want to ask you about. Makai Jackson, the freshman receiver uh, from Croydon, Pennsylvania, he had eight catches, fans for 123 yards and a touchdown. It was his first career TD. It was a beautiful catch and run late in the first half. And he earned Offensive Player of the Week uh, in the Northeast Conference as well as Rookie of the Week. And he has really uh, shown some glimpses of greatness through his first two games at the collegiate level. Yeah, he's starting to come into his own. He's starting to get a little more comfortable in the system. Uh, him, He's starting to get a rhythm with the quarterback. So, you know, we hope to keep watching him grow. But, uh, you know, he had that nice big run. It was nice to see. Anytime you see a, a young guy start to come in their own as a coach, you, you get excited. Defensively, Marcel Mamie out of Damascus, Maryland. He's a redshirt freshman linebacker. He had a dozen tackles, seventh solo. That was a game, high 12 tackles. And Greg Reddick continued to play well. The defensive back from Miami, 11 tackles, seven solo hits for the redshirt sophomore. And he was an NEC prime performer and forced that fumble late in the first half. That was really a critical play, uh, kept us in the game. Yeah, great hustle, great, great awareness uh, to knock that ball out. Uh, you know, it was just a really smart play. You know, Greg is, is becoming a, a leader on this team, and obviously he was all over the field all night, as, as well as Marcel, just making big plays at, at, at critical times. So, uh, you know, their leadership is going to be really big on that uh, defensive side. All right, let's talk Wagner. NEC opener on Saturday up on Grimes Hill. They're 0 2 fans. Head coach Tom Masella's team uh, lost 48 to 31 in the opener at Fordham. Actually, he used to coach uh, at Fordham and then uh, played up last week, a 66 to 7 loss last weekend at Rutgers. They have some weapons. Obviously, uh, the quarterback, the transfer from Western Michigan, Nick Kargman, and we all know about Titus Leo two-time NEC Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, he really makes that defense go, and uh, they really feed off of his energy. Yeah, and they, they got two great defensive ends that can really box you, and they're big up front. Um, it's going to be a great challenge for our offensive line. You know, they're, they're, they got speed in the back end that'll make you pay. As you know, they got, they got some receivers that they can catch the ball and go yard on you. They got a uh, fast running back back from last year. Uh, you know, he had some great runs against us last year. So, you know, this is a, this is a team has a lot of weapons and we're going to play a really good, you know, fundamentally sound uh, game to, to bring this one home. And added with that, you know, this is their homecoming. So we know they're going to be up for it. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. Chris, thank you. Good luck up at Wagner. I appreciate it and thank you for the support.